Good morning, this is Robin Bremer and you're watching Walks with God. And I'm excited because God's sharing with me something I've been meditating on for a long time. And it's the scripture Hebrews 12 that says, The worshippers, once purged, should have no more consciousness of sin. And I've been meditating on why it's the worshippers. God told me that, <clears throat> excuse me, once we're <clears throat> purged, once we're made clean by the blood of Jesus, um, we should have no more consciousness of sin. But when we start worshipping, the reason he calls us uh, the worshippers, once purged, should have no more consciousness of sin, is because the answer of having no more consciousness of sin is worshipping. Uh, he said that when you worship, that you, your eyes are taken off of you and the problem, and they're put on God, and they're magnifying God. And when you magnify God, um, God becomes bigger in the problem, and you become smaller. And God becomes your God instead of you becoming your own God and trying to solve your own problems. And then uh, there's another scripture that goes with that, 1 John 3, 21. Beloved, if our heart condemns us not, then we have confidence toward God. And if you also look at uh, Matthew 7, 16, it says, This is the covenant, and their sins and iniquities I will re remember no more. And then it goes on, it says, having, Therefore, brother, having boldness to enter the holies of holies by the blood of Jesus, let us draw near with a true heart of assurance of faith having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience. So, <clears throat> when we're sin conscious, when we're aware of all of our faults and everything we did wrong, then we are not, um, we're not able to hear from God, we're not able to have answers from God because we're thinking of our own sin, our own sin consciousness. But if you look at 1 John 5.14, Remember in Hebrews 2, it said the worshippers, once pure, purged, should have no more consciousness of sin. That is our God's goal. He does not want us to be conscious of sin. Okay? Most people think, oh, woe is me. I'm a worm in the dirt. I'm, I was a sinner. I, I am a sinner saved by grace. You was a sinner. You're not a sinner no more. Okay? So, God wants us to forget, to ask, he says to... Uh, Forgive, ask him to forgive us for our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And the reason that's so important is if you're sin conscious, you're not power conscious. You're not worship conscious. You're not conscious of, of the goodness of God. You're conscious of yourself. You're self conscious. Um, so it's a self defeating thing. You, you think because oh I'm uh, I'm so aware of uh, of my sin and everything I've done wrong and and you think you're being a good person by being aware of that but it's just the opposite because when you're sin conscious you're self conscious instead of God conscious so if you look at um, those scriptures your heart condemns you when you are self conscious you're full of, of, of the sin that you committed you haven't repented yet haven't asked God to help you with it um, you're full of yourself and you're self-conscious and sin-conscious and your heart condemns, condemns you and you have no confidence toward God therefore you have no power because your heart is not assured does not have any assurance in it your heart is full of sins and iniquities and God says if he forgives you of your sins and iniquities why do you want to remember it and bring it up he says that when you ask him to forgive you he forgives you that's it okay and it says um it's an evil conscious. It's an evil conscious when you're thinking about your sins and everything you did wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me, the blood of Jesus um, cover, uh, took away your sin. So he says, when the worshippers once purged, and that's Hebrews 10.2, the worshippers once purged. So the way to get rid of sin consciousness is to worship. So that's my revelation today, <clears throat> and I need my water. Um, the way to get rid of a sin consciousness is first of all tell God that you've sinned you're sorry and help him to change you and then start worshiping God instead of thinking about what you did wrong and that as a worshiper then you will become God conscious God will be magnified in your eyes instead of your sin and my name is Robin Bremer and you're watching walks with God and I'm out